the taxi industry in Australia is inefficient. It's heavily monopolised and this has resulted in poor outcomes for passengers and drivers. We all know what this means. You book a taxi, it doesn't arrive. You go outside in the rain to flag your taxi, good luck. And when your taxi finally does arrive, the guy doesn't know where he's going. It's really bad for drivers as well. These guys can earn below the minimum wage and often they'll drive around with their taxi empty for half a shift. In Australia, one in four taxi bookings fails to connect a passenger with a taxi. That's 20 million failures every year. We've got a massive problem here. It's a disconnection between two sides of a market desperate to come together. Imagine if passengers and drivers could see each other's location in real time on a map and connect using this information. Well, that's exactly what we've delivered with GoCatch. GoCatch is an application which passengers and drivers download to their smartphone. Using the GPS on the device, we're able to pick up and display the location of these users to one another. So what we can see here is, as a passenger, available drivers driving around in proximity to you. So you can either tap the GoCatch taxi button at the bottom to broadcast out your request for a taxi, or you can tap on a specific driver to see their details. Now what we can see here is that Ken has been rated five stars by the community of passengers. Now this is a first in Australia. We've never been able to share this kind of information and access it about drivers. And what this means is that drivers that do the right thing get recognised and rewarded by receiving additional jobs. Now, this is the opportunity to really improve customer service in the industry. So, Ken's, we're, we're happy with Ken, we've tapped GoCatch, Ken's now approaching, we can see him approaching in real time. So what this means is there's no more need to be out in the rain, in, you know, on your knees, in the mud, praying to the almighty taxi gods that your taxi is going to arrive on time. It also means that taxi that you booked to the airport that's running five minutes late, you've got no idea where it is, well, there's no need to call the taxi company hoping that your, your call will go through or having to scream down the end to a robot. You'll actually be able to see where that taxi is. So, for drivers, they get to see the details of the bookings coming through the system and indicate where they've been able to collect you. Now, what we've done is we've delivered a great experience for both passengers and drivers. But some of the incumbents in the industry aren't too happy about this, are they, Andrew? That's right, Ned. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we knew we'd stir up some controversy, but we never expected that we'd start a war. Dun, dun, dun. And that's what happened. The Taxi Council came out swinging against us and helped us to generate loads of media coverage in the Sunday Telegraph, the Herald Sun, the Sydney Morning Herald, the Age, the 2UE, Melbourne Talkback Radio, and a dozen other publications, including the Financial Review. Now, what this demonstrates is that the incumbent players are worried about a business model like ours disrupting the status quo. What's the status quo? Well, taxi owners and operators pay $500 a month in radio booking dues. Taxi drivers pay to get in a taxi for the privilege of driving it. Our business model, like any other transactional marketplace, we only make money when the drivers make money. Now, we've spoken to over a thousand drivers and they've told us exactly how much they're willing to pay for good quality jobs. We've got conservative modelling and this shows substantial revenue streams. So we're clipping the ticket. How many tickets are there? Well, there's 213 million taxi fares in Australia every single year. That's four and a half billion dollars in transactions in Australia. But hang on a minute. There's taxi problems everywhere in the world. Ned, is GoCatch scalable globally? It certainly is, Andrew. <laughs> and thanks to a consortium that we've formed through the support of New South Wales government, we've got some really big names on board as partners. And we're really proud of these partnerships and we've been able to access some amazing support and resources through them. So we'd like to take the opportunity to thank our partners for their support. We'd also like to thank and congratulate Peter Davidson and Mike Casey at Fishburners, which is a community of startups that we're very proud to be part of as well. So, the team at GoCatch, we have a talented group of developers, designers, mentors and advisors and who are just as passionately excited about GoCatch as Andrew and I are. Also, Andrew and my experience brings a lot of, uh, has, has really helped with the success of the business today. Andrew has a wealth of experience in sales and business development, having worked at Optus and APN News and Media. And I head up the technology side, having worked in product, project management and d development roles including work at Macquarie Bank, uh, establishing Macquarie Edge, an online share trading platform there. So how are we tracking? We've smashed many of our metrics since we launched eight weeks ago. We have thousands of passengers in the system, over a thousand drivers, and many thousands of jobs. As we speak, passengers and drivers are connecting through GoCatch. Yeah. GoCatch is being built to be the dominant marketplace where taxis and passengers connect. If you're an investor, please come and say hello. We're closing our first round now after five formal offers. Ladies and gentlemen, what we've shown you today is the way that taxis and passengers will be connecting increasingly in the future. When they connect, they'll be connecting with GoCatch.